Hi everyone and welcome to another 10 minute IT jam. Today I've got Jamie Atherton. He's the ANZ country manager for Highland. They're a US enterprise software vendor. Welcome on board. Hey Sean, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we've got a really short time frame here. So let's crack into that first question. For an IT manager that hasn't worked with Highland before, what are your key products and offerings? Yeah, thanks, Sean. So um, to, to summarize, um, Highland's key products and services has always been around um, content services, what's fondly known now as, as content services. So we deliver um, a world leading content services platform and supporting complementary technologies. For, th for a lot of our customers, um, that really is that, that uses technology is is, is used to improve and in some cases, many cases, to transform their business processes um, across the entire organization, not limited to a particular process or, or even a particular department, but an enterprise-wide content services platform that is really talking all things when it comes to managing content and business process. Um, to give you a bit of an example, that can mean lots of different things to different people. So. At the very beginning, lots of organizations need to think of creative ways of how to get stuff, content, emails, documents, physical or electronic into the organization. So, you know, capture, how do we, uh, how, how do we allow customers multi methods of getting documents and content into the organization? Uh, how we then manage that content? How do we then automate decisions and processes, allowing customers to then collaborate both internally and externally with stakeholders, how to manage a case or a collection of documents and tasks, all the way through to technologies to helping organizations searching across multiple systems and repositories. I mean, many customers that we speak to, they have been, they have grown over the years, they've acquired multiple companies and they've over time built up many different systems with content that reside in repositories with various so having um, tools to be able those customers to search across those repositories and find the content that's required for them to be able to do their for them to perform their their, their jobs and, and roles and i think that you know at the same time helping organizations meet their regulatory and compliance commitments through records management records and retention management very interesting. It sounds like your solutions are perfect for right now with the working from home and digital transformation trends going on. Yes, yeah, certainly. You know, it's um, now more than ever the ability for, um, for, for users to have access to the correct information as and when they need it and not physically being in one location or any of the same location to, to have access to that information. So very relevant in, in, today's, in today's world. Mm. Do you have an optimal sort of size of organization? You know, in Australia and New Zealand, there's, you know, maybe a 250 to a thousand or, or, or what is your sort of well, ideal yeah, size? Yeah, so it really has, you know, we have customers. Delighted to say that we have customers across all, of all the verticals. We're talking from retail to, to um, um, healthcare, to banking, to insurance of all shapes and sizes. Some of our customers are using some platforms where there's half a dozen users, all the way up to organizations at the government level that have thousands of users that are using similar technology just to a larger scale. But the common theme throughout those organizations is the ability to provide them the content that they need to perform their jobs in a seamless manner and, and taking away the burden of them having to search across multiple systems or being the same physical location as, the, as that information resides. So very common in terms of use cases and the use of the technology, but, but truly uh, a, a, a wide landscape when it comes to size and type of organization. Okay. And um, recent product announcements, what's been happening in the last three months across the products or solutions? Well, well I'm delighted to say a lot. You know, we, um, um, to give you a bit of a summary with, with our flagship products, you know, we, we continue on our mission to provide customers the most advanced and secure technology. That goes without saying. 
but we are looking, you know, this latest release um, is another step forward in, in, in Highland uniting the uh, Highland portfolio of products and solutions. And it's making it easier. Um, each release will make it easier for and faster for organizations to access new capabilities and new user experiences. And not to mention um, moving away or making the upgrade process as easy as possible. So not just having one release every year, which traditionally has been the model for Highland and many software vendors, to moving to an increased cadence of releases where customers can consume those releases and new technologies on a much more frequent basis and not wait and not being three or four years behind because the upgrade process is, is historically being so complex. Um, you know, and that's really for moving you know, increasing that cadence of, 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 of releases, but also from an end user's perspective, you know, coming up with new and, in, and um, intuitive um, solutions to, to sales, our, our, our um, uh, Salesforce integration was included in, the, in one of our latest releases. So the concept being um, you're in Salesforce, you're in your CRM system, you're looking at some customer data, the structured data, you need to see documents, whether it's contracts, invoices, whatever related to that, to that, um, that, that screen or that customer that you're looking at within Salesforce. And with through the simple click of a button, you can access all of the relevant content, whether it's the documents or, um, that, that relate to that particular screen you're working on. So, so providing end users instant access to all of the content from that very specific, uh, sell, in that instance, Salesforce instance that they're working. But that would translate into, if I'm an insurance customer and I'm using Guidewire to help automate my claims um, system, and I'm a claims handler, I need to see all the claims related to that incident. Again, by a click of a single button without leaving any of the system, um, I'm actually, at the end of the end users don't really know or care, it's Highland providing that complementary technology to give the end user the, the access to the information they need to complete the task at hand. Sounds uh, really productive, which is a critical thing for CIOs and IT managers these days. It certainly is, you know, it certainly is. And I think the, the other key thing that we, you know, in every development now that we're thinking about is, is the uh, persona, persona based, you know, personalization of, of what they actually need to see in the system to be able to form their tasks. So, you know, historically, the customers that you know, if they're using a technology that's been around for something like some of the Highland solutions for the best on 30 years, the big systems, they do lots of different things. And, and a common criticism could have been that some of those are a little bit complex. Um, so as we move forward, you know, given those, given those, um, those users only the screens or the functions that they need to see to perform their task at hand is something that is you know is really an interesting development um, so persona based um, development is is a key part of our ongoing development plans mm. and um, that that sort of feeds into my next next question about future trends that you're seeing, uh, maybe from your product development team, you know, the persona based sounds like mm -hmm. it's really a focus. Does that mean artificial intelligence as well? Sure, yes, it does, you know, and, and, and we've, it, it's, it's really bringing, continuing to bring all of the content services, tools and complementary solutions that we, that we, that we have available within the, within the portfolio of solutions and making them available to those customers that need to take advantage of those particular complementary solutions or not. I mean, some, some, some customers do, some customers don't, but when they do, having that the same seamless experience. Um, so I think this, this move towards a more frequent update through enhancement packs, as opposed to one big release per year, making new features, products, and security updates available in this increased Candice for both cloud and on-premise customers throughout a calendar year. Um, you know, in, in, in addition to that, 
as, as how you could, how it will continue to develop or is continuing to develop its new cloud first SaaS platform. So organizations on this latest foundation version will be in the best position to take advantage of these latest capabilities as and when they are released. So there's lots going on with development and trends. Um, and maybe that's a, a quick summary for you, for you there, Sean. Sounds great. Um, as far as uh, Australia and New Zealand, what, what sort of infrastructure or people or resources do you have in, in the marketplace? Yeah, I think that's really um, extensive, I would say, for, for this part of the world. You know, I, I, I like to think and claim that uh, we have the most knowledgeable and experienced employees in the business um, um, with staff across sales, marketing, professional services, which is, is our delivery team, our technical support team, um, and, and not to mention our, our dedicated data centers for those customers that do want to host their Highland solutions here in the cloud. We have our data centers based here in Australia, and of course, historically, that has been a barrier to many Australian companies that would feel un uncomfortable if those data centers would have sat, sat outside Australia. So we've had data centers in Australia for, for six or seven years or so, with a very good experience of delivering um, cloud solutions to our uh, Australian and New Zealand customers, the data centers both in Sydney, Melbourne, and in both uh, two data centers in, in, in New Zealand as well. Um, I'd also mention, you know, while we have the opportunities to mention our uh, ecosystem of, of, of partners and alliance partners throughout Australia, we have some excellent um, partners that we work with and, and our, our joint purpose is to, to serve our customers um, in, in this part of the world. So for, for, I think we have ex an extensive existing infrastructure to service the ANZ market, Sean. Mm, sounds like you've really committed to the region and been here for quite a while. We certainly have. So that's, um, and long may that continue. You know, it, um, it really does make a difference to our customers, to our partners, to the people that we serve, to have dedicated infrastructure and resources in this part of the world so we can be as self-sufficient uh, as possible. And that allows us to be as responsive as we need to be with dealing with uh, the, the customers that we do on a daily basis. Mm. Interesting. Thank you. If, if a partner or maybe an enterprise end user wants to engage with Highland, what is the best way to do it? Yes, yeah, so I think um, the website is fantastic. We call it highland.com. We have a uh, contact us details, chat box um, on, on that website as well. So. Um, lots of information, contact us. We do have um, uh, our sales office and, uh, and uh, offices throughout Sydney and, and Melbourne. But I think the easiest one is highland.com and you just contact us and you'll see exactly how the best way to, 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 contact, to contact us. We'd be delighted to hear from you. Thank you. Today, uh, today's IT Jam has been with Jamie Atherton, ANZ Country Manager for Highland. Thank you for your time, Jamie. Thank you, Sean. Been a pleasure. All the best. Thank you.